Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. You have been seen, but can God open your eyes tonight? Can we pray? Pray passionately. Those outside, let's pray with all our hearts. His word will come to pass. Pray. Perfect it, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21, verse 1. We'll just pray one prayer point and then we'll be seated. Genesis 21, verse 1. Let's read together. Put your name there. Ready? One to read. Now put your name wherever you see Sarah. Put your name and prophesy it convincingly. Turn it into a prayer. Do for me, O God. What I cannot do for myself. Do for me, O God. Do for me what I cannot do for myself. outside, inside, outside. Uh, please keep that aside. Just the oil. That's what I need. Just bring the oil. Drop it on the altar. Thank you. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that from tonight your life will change in a very remarkable way. Life is full of choices. You can choose to let today be like any other day you can make up your mind that today will be my day of encounter you can make up your mind that today will be my day of liberty you can make up your mind that today will be the day that I break open to new levels of grace new dimensions hallelujah I want us to realize that every time God speaks it is because he has examined himself and concluded that he has the power to make it happen are we together before God speaks a thing he looks at himself 
that's what it means to be faithful is his name it's not an attribute he looks at himself so if he says i want to bless you and lift you he first searches do i have the capacity to make this happen if he does not have the capacity to make it happen he will not speak and god has declared he's opened up this series to us it is because he wants to bless us in the name of jesus i'll teach you just two laws to light just two more laws please get success system part one and part two get it even if you were here it's free part one and part two listen to this these are the keys that we operate in this kingdom i was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday and i was telling them how that don't ever be confused that we're operating in two systems everybody say two systems there is the kingdom of darkness the world system of doing things are we together and there is god's system of doing things if you follow the world system of doing things you will be frustrated for sure you will be unfulfilled for sure you will live a life of pain and misery and frustration for sure you may laugh temporarily you may pretend that it is working but I assure you, as surely as the sun rises and sets, you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment. I have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs. Write this down. The first thing I want you to write is nothing happens on its own. Nothing happens on its own. Failure does not happen on its own success does not happen on its own lifting does not happen on its own stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own a business does not grow and expand on its own a ministry does not become great on its own every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws write it every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws l-a-w-s laws principles keys a door does not open because you want to enter your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors access to the key is what opens the door you can stand in front of a door you can wish to enter you can hope to enter you can even ask to enter you can beg to enter but the door will not open it was not designed to open just from wishing whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key and because that key is missing you can stand outside from morning till night is that true and so the things that we are going to be learning tonight especially for the laws i'll be sharing with you i pray that god will help you and give us understanding to believe them in jesus name let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far right from part one can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them law number one help me please the law of relationships very important i don't care who you are i don't care what you studied i don't care what school you went to relationship um is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find god but you may never arrive there all blessings come from god through men to you please repeat it after me from god through men to me one more time from god through men to me it never comes from god to you directly it comes from god through men to you there is an impartation that is coming from god it's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you are we together your prosperity comes from god when it comes from men you're in trouble it comes from god but men have always been channels I told us when we started that anything money can buy relationships can buy i don't care what it is name anything you know on earth that requires money to get relationships when you pay money you don't pay stones you pay men 
you don't pay goats you don't pay animals when you give money the sky does not pick the money it gives it to the men they can choose to allow your relationship pay for it are we together that's law number one what's law number two help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions i can provide and the problems i can solve you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor a, someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law too very seriously the law of value that means if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors not not takers unfortunately we live in a society that is full of takers what is in this for me and life tells you there are all kinds of blessings but only a portion for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute are we together whoever solves the problem gets the reward Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne there was a wife there was a tax-free opportunity everybody was afraid to confront that challenge but a young teenager called David came and said Saul I'm able to take on Goliath and he said what shall be done for the one who does this he will get a wife his family will be freed from tax and he will be honored David said I take up that challenge do you know it was a risk if Goliath killed David they will say we said it now go and bury him and um, Jesse take it easy you have other sons so it was a risk standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve the kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you are we together yes that's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelled above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for 
so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems than your needs your needs are 10,000 the problems you solve is 1,000 you are minus 9,000 that's a life of frustration up to date down tomorrow are we blessed the law of value the key to getting out of a life of complex a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh I am this I came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people there are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak English you know why because what they are doing is their sport their field their footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you it's a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you it's a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we and whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah, just for talking that's the thinking of a fool the words i speak unto you they are what spirit and life a pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month why because he's flying people across places that's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from africa to asia 90 percent of your journey is across water you don't see a single land and somebody is risking to take you over 45 50 000, um, um, uh, feet above sea level now that's mastery so he's rewarded you who didn't have the courage to go to that school you are the payer and the pilot who risks himself is the recipient the day you are angry what do you do you go to the school when you learn it are we together do not ever frown at a rich man again do not ever insult rich people we have this ugly most of our loved ones sincere people but they are truthfully speaking not offering any value and whenever they see blessed people they say see them see them it's a terrible way of living next time you see great people don't be angry find out what they are doing that you're not doing the law of value number three the law of competence and excellence closely related to the law of value 
value as a raw material is useless it must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, uh, um, what do we call it now very useful things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important I taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if I speak Yoruba now every Yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if I say praise the Lord in Yoruba will you answer in English you will answer in Yoruba because I spoke your language if I say praise the Lord in Hausa all who understand Hausa will answer back if I say praise the Lord in Igbo or whatever language I use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1,000 people excellence is powerful you must be accurate you must be serious with whatever you are doing you are a tailor be excellent you are a hairdresser be excellent you are a preacher be excellent excellent requires thoroughness excellence requires exposure excellence requires having a reference excellence requires consistent development consistent development outsmarting your own records surpassing ordinary standards that's excellence anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam and egg sauce but the plate is not excellent is not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when i came here they are so cautious they are nice they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to Sabo. oh yeah let's go when you reach you just pack your yeah oh, yeah come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man would disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been working in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence yes there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm it's 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within zaria i don't have to come from Sabo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say oh God, how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen 
stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pap why don't you say okay let me get a little trampoline just at a corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pap does he have to sit down under smoke i said that's how we do it here oh, sorry the cups are full people are drinking the pap and he's sitting down he's hungry and doesn't have all that time but he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap then you quickly rinse it and pour his own no no that is a dirty environment a dirty lifestyle and a life of mediocrity why don't you get different kinds of cops you have brains discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cops factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just squeeze an, a newspaper a wire paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there is ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together yes if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset 
and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindsets some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of God and insulted everyone. You joined your parents, you joined your loved ones, you joined other men of God to tear down other people. But as you came, the word of God did something to your thinking. Is that true? There was an adjustment and you made up your mind that I will love all men. I leave judgment to God. Now, you don't try to not insult people. You are free already. There are some of you like we spoke about excellence some of you were not excellent at all but when you came just by observation you felt i have to be this i should iron my clothes I, i'm used to wearing clothes that i don't iron i don't care whether it's ironed or not but now i realize it's not the price of the clothes is who wears it so i iron my clothes even if it is 200 naira i don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then i now wear it no mindset the most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation anybody who is resistant to mental transformation there's nothing you can do with that person the law of the mind that's law number what law number five the law of faith i'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray the law of faith we're teaching success systems the fifth law is the law of faith say after me the law of faith f-a-i-t-h the law of faith the law of faith if you will ever succeed in life you will need to use your faith what is faith faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about god and his word faith is the action you take the name given to the action not just the belief the action that is taken based on conviction obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it, comp it compels my life to respond accordingly. I am walking in faith. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. There must be an instruction before obedience. Faith is not just conviction. That's called belief. That you believe a thing does not mean you have faith faith is belief plus obedience conviction plus obedience many people claim they have faith they only believe the word of god are we together numbers chapter 23 verse 19 nobody will give you a guarantee for success you will have to use your faith nobody will give you a guarantee for success read it everybody is projected one to read God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when God speaks it is within his power to make it come to pass say God has the ability to make his word come to pass say it one more time god has the ability to make his word come to pass write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed you will have to take risks to succeed in 2010 during our kingdom wealth summit i taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r i s k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse 
so fearful they will never do anything christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action it's one thing to wait upon the lord and to wait for seasons but it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith brothers and sisters if you must meet jesus you must walk on that water if it be thou bid me come and he said come there are too many people who will not take action you will not start that business because you are afraid. I watch somebody lose. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose my shop. I don't want to do this. What if the birds die? Africa is full of what ifs and we never take action. Stand up and do something. What if I apply and I don't get the job? It will be that I wasted money. It will take 5,000 for me to go and submit my CV in Lagos. It will take another 5,000 for me to return. Maybe I will need to book a hotel, 10,000, and stay two days. If I spend 30,000 just to submit my CV, what if I don't get the job? There is no guarantee. There is no uncle there. We live in an age of fearful people, risk-averse people. Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years, I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands. And I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried six times six times and failed it was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you open a shop after one week armed robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing i will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it there is a vacancy i don't know anybody oh should i apply should i not apply and you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you go and submit the cv listen the world only honors men of action not just men of wish men of action after all the planning and everything you must take action take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything the fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks 
what what truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40 you can't take a car by the road why not because there are no cars <laughs> i don't want to die but somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other yet you see some of these house boys have you seen them during salah nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days their orgas pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um we we are going to i, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded i said no i didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to buy elsa i don't know anybody you say everybody please call on kudis call auntie that how old are you 30 because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them talk don't pursue women don't drink beer love god be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their god and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is god that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um, I want to move forward. My parents do not have the opportunity to help me. Please, sir, can you allow me with your grass? My budget is 6,000. I don't know how much this will be, but I can with your grass. I can call my friends. And you look at a young man walking his way to greatness. And you can say, go ahead and with it. And instead of giving him 1,000 or 2,000, you can give him 3,000 and your number. You have helped that boy. Are we together? There are many people who do not want to take action. There are many men today who lost their job since year 2000. Till today, they have been given all kinds of flimsy excuses. That's why we love prophecy. Because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace tonight to take action. Give us Job 3.25. Never fear failure. Write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here 
your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you are not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down and i will do something let me tell you heaven will back those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word abba the consciousness to be a provider are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but i'm telling you now you are failing god in that family are we together i wish i had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones let me tell them it's a shame when a daughter a son turns to their father and say father it's it's time i i need to buy a shirt and the man say what will i do sir I'm, a, I'm in final year i need money for my project should i kill myself i tell you the truth that is irresponsibility to the core what should that person do you are simply saying go and be a prostitute i don't care action today we are here by the grace of god because of action after you plan you must act when you fail you stand up re-strategize and move forward let them laugh at you the ones who are laughing at you have not taken action that's why you see let me tell you anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything it's not because they like you it's because you have not done anything yet the law of faith matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 8 please give it to us every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee it is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee the bible says ask and it shall be given to you it says seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i will learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you. Pursuit is the proof of passion. You must be passionate enough to pursue it. I watch people right now. I don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain, in the sun, and little discomfort. And you say, sorry, uh, the way my hair is, eh? every time I'm listening, once there's heat, it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created them that, that but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> that means that panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears brother say in the name of jesus i did shout it in the name of jesus, name of jesus. From, this night, from this night i declare that the days of wishing are over i take action now go and 
and start that business go and submit your cv don't sit down tell yourself by september i should be working that's faith by september i should be working and see whether the god of all flesh will not make it happen lord i have failed but i'm starting again i i see the mistakes i made i don't have any capital now but lord i trust in you if you fall and remain there then you have really failed but if you fall and you still stand up you have not failed are we together everybody say courage shout it courage there is nobody i have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything and today god has honored them you must be courageous joshua was now going to be a leader over several people several people god did not tell him joshua make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse he said be strong and of good courage they will act like fools but be strong you are a leader there is an anointing upon you you watch what we do today by the grace of god and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said i will give you venue or somebody said no nobody gives you any guarantee stop insulting your uncles your aunties your brothers and sisters and say nobody is supporting me let your faith support you let your faith support you are you hearing what i'm saying let your faith support you you had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan. Apostle, but I've never gone there. I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace. Share the idea with two or three people. Carry your CV and go to the park in the night. You are in Kaduna Park. Where are you going? In Ibadan. And see whether God, tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there. He's waiting for you in Ibadan. He's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience. As soon as you get to Ibadan, in the in the luxurious that you enter you will now meet somebody where are you going it's like i know you somewhere ah your sister's graduation i was a classmate really where are you staying the miracle starts the bible says this sign shall follow if you don't take steps you will not see signs apostle when will i enter i mean i need the healing anointing must you die before you know you fell under the anointing you let sick people pass you somebody says i have cancer and you just say ah i remember this cancer is can can be transferred you see that attitude of unbelief you will never walk in power what do you think a miracle service is a show nobody starts with mastery you see how children walk they start and then they start crawling do you stop them from crawling sometimes in a bid to hold the table they hit their head does that mean walking is not possible how the child hits the head you you rub it what do you tell the child sorry sorry means sorry for now continue move again you love that child but you cannot walk for the child the person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult we together i wrote jam five times i didn't get it i will give up are you joking no look at jam and say jam as for me and you one of us will give up one of us will give up i will walk you and weary you where will the money come from don't worry don't worry god is alert and active watching over his word to perform it are you hearing what i'm saying Oh, apostle i'm of age and i need to move from my parents house now to get a place but uncle did not send the money keep quiet one day you get up and go and buy a bag with the two thousand you have pack your clothes and say daddy just like you advised me i'm on my way going i got one one room somewhere and i'm going he said that one room nothing there's no carpet you say sir if i don't leave i will not become a man like you if i don't leave i will come for as long as i come back and i can go to the kitchen who had part of my yam you are still a child you need to push yourself and you stand up 
and while you are moving God is saying watch this the angels are backing you do not know all of a sudden the moment you get there some brothers from your fellowship will come and God will speak to somebody buy him a rock the first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself not in partnership with another person's faith your faith is growing and you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself uh, apostle I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house how was your father when he moved out of his own father's house very fearful people very fearful people hallelujah I teach responsibility but you must conquer fear you get out and you stay in that room it's raining and water is dropping on you from that one room and you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house exactly that's what made Moses a savior pushed him out and as that rain is dropping it drops and does something to your brain and you say no more I can't live like this I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me the very next day you will sell two clothes and buy one book you are making progress and sit down you go and get financial dominion part one two three and sit down next time you hear people are fasting you don't say they are just see do you know why many of us don't take action we have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds you think it's your faith that is working the proof that your faith is working or not leave all the support and stand alone then you will know whether you really have faith are we together there are people who don't know how to trust god there's this song in my heart my trust is in you you know the song sam help me just that one song one minute I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I put an edge in you. Hey, my trust is in you. Oh, and I am a Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. Alpha and Omega. My trust is in you. Somebody say, I put them on you. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Hey, a lion of Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. Hallelujah. Listen, sit down. Anyone who is jobless here, I'm talking specifically to the brothers. Sisters, you, you are coming, but let me speak to the brothers. If you are jobless here, jobless does not mean civil service. Jobless means stream of income. You are not doing anything and you are not serious. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again someone has got to push you and some of our parents love us too much to push us oh i'm a graduate go and open a barbing saloon the money you have can buy three clippers i open it in the name of jesus package a little seed and come and drop it in corn not for me it's a principle you know it go and open the barbing saloon are we together yes there are many lazy people moving around you may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. 
challenge yourself challenge yourself can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria three of us let's come together how much do you have 500,000 how much do you have 200,000 how much do you have 100,000 let's have an agreement let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around you make it the first 20 people free you launch it come and collect a bottle of oil here shake I will pray on it with all my heart you drop it on that shop it will be like jam hold on don't shout you have never done it how many times have I spoken about it here listen listen action takers are the ones who move forward you graduated 10 years ago you submitted your CV twice and it's because they told you who do you want to spoon feed you with a job stand up and take action fail honorably and come I will hug you I will pray for you and you will go back you are learning how to walk you are learning how to walk everybody say I will rise again I'm speaking to people who tried rising and then you went down and Christians are usually the ones who say take it is you take it is here this this decoration how many people get married in Zaria you just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this look at the, how many ribbons you know you even say you want to do canopy you better don't destroy yourself and all of a sudden you see somebody will come and just when he's opening the canopy that's when God is bringing explosion to another church and they'll say you are the one who is supplying this Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia. Every week. Even if you don't do any other business again. Yet you are sitting down. Buying fake things, fake whatever. To prove levels that you have not gotten to. Challenge yourself. The law of faith. You must take action. I have taken bold steps in my life. Bold steps in my life. The word trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me. I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you, but you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? oh let me run to prayer department benga or let me run to promise or oh, anybody let me run to any of the people oh let me run to this i think i'm hungry let me run to the welfare mama please ma you too you know the way nigeria is that if you, if you don't challenge yourself you will never rise you need to take action take action take action tell yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed. Do you know why? Because of fear. Never sown it. God cannot even tell you to empty your account. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will bind, bind and cast and curse and say, let this voice never speak to me again. That's why you can never rise. I'll never forget a time the Lord gave me an instruction to sow everything. Over 80% of all my clothes. Aside from what I did in Port Harcourt. And I just carried those things. When I sowed them, it was as if I would die now i live if god tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything i will do it gladly because i know him i know him not because i like it not because it's convenient when you know god then you'll be able to take certain steps are we together yes listen the workers in this ministry start dressing arranging chairs and canopies way before people come 
Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and say, ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit. And so, everybody read. Talking about Abraham. Read on. And so, after he had patiently endured, did what? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Hold on, my destiny. My trust is in you. Help me, sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Sing, my trust is in you. Ancient of my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. Oh, I do them on you. My trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. my time who will come and marry me let the guy come first when he comes and i'm sure the day he ever says i will go and see your parents i will read like never before you will never marry that way are you hearing what i'm saying yes oh five children are going to come out from this womb you take a step of faith you have not entered any relationship who knows me look at that foolish question what do you mean who knows me god the god you serve you lay your hands, she brakatata. You are bringing five children from this womb, and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant, and after five years, God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie, but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down and you say, I'm building my mind. They say, what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in me. Of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust.
You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, honey, build, build. Time is going. This. How much is the money? There's one money I'm expecting. It will come tomorrow. God said you have 100,000. It can bring one tip of sand. Go and bring it and pour it on the side. That's faith. You are saying, Lord, I'm starting this out. The hand of Zerubbabel that started. When you start, God begins to move people. I remember the first day we bought equipment. I remember one by one. One by one. I remember when I started buying, you know, not even just for ministry, for myself. To think and say, one day I'll get a laptop is a joke. A laptop who gives you the money see hear me this God is a good God worship team told us already this God is a faithful God but while you are waiting for him I don't know who I'm speaking to this night God is saying I'm tired of waiting for you take a step 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 who told you the business will fail take a step Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that this cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes. Usually, those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen. You will carry 100,000 from it. Something will happen. They will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail. And they will massage your ego. And you will know when you carry 300,000. On behalf of me and my wife, I donate this money. And the money has finished. And you will never be successful. Success systems. The law of faith. Every great man walks on water. Every great man walks on water. It is your faith that turns that water to concrete. We are going to sing this song one more time. And then I will go to the next law. But I want you to sing it with understanding. I have trusted men, they have failed me. I have trusted systems. I trusted my certificate, it failed me. Lord, I lift my eyes and I trust in you. You are the one who can wipe my tears. My uncle promised me and disappointed me. Many have concluded that because I finished with the past, there is no greatness. That's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust God. But I'm challenging men of faith. Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. I say, in my family, Lord. My trust is in you. Say, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you.
Psalm 89 verse 17. The law of favor. Lord, I pray that somebody will get this. In the name of Jesus, I pray that somebody will get this. Psalms 89 verse 17. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted. Favor is the number one reason people succeed. Favor is the number one reason the number one reason why you will succeed is favor. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. You need favor to achieve your goals and dreams. It is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor. No, sir. You've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. It is hardly an exaggeration. One day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor. Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is. And how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it unto God. God just favor us now. No. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction. Favor is not a miracle. Favor is a reaction you can program favor in your life a reaction means that it is a response favor is a reaction it's not a miracle favor miracles can happen and do happen but favor is not a miracle what is favor let's define favor favor is when someone is willing to invest their life their time their resources their credibility to help you achieve your goals that's favor when somebody is willing to participate in your success is called favor when someone is willing to invest their life invest their credibility invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking limited teaching limited definition and is the reason why let me tell you whether it is merited or unmerited favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed All success are related to favor. All success. Whether all kinds of success. Financial success. Ministry success. Business success. Marital success. They are directly related to favor. All success testimonies you want to write. All success testimonies are related to favor. I have heard so many success testimonies. There is not one of them. That is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you 
matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called ahazarus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many christians think it doesn't matter i don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on god i understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from joss we came back from joss and um while i went to minister in joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as i got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know would come you know recite i didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and i looked at the lady and i fell in love with that dear girl instantly and i told her i said do you know what you are my friend when i came on stage i made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because i liked her not because i know her i just liked her the next day i said they should bring her to the hotel we'll drive together it was together i was gisting with her and i looked at the lady and i said i want to do something for you i want to do something for your family please bring your mother i want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her i, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir. i thought it's three three years it's like I, I changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh daniel has your god been able to deliver you daniel said i'm alive he said bring all those people daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored
bless you. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. Now, this is coming as a shock to many of us. Write it down. We're getting deeper now. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. If one day God will bless me, it's a joke. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that Samuel grew in favor with God and with men. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26. 226 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. A man can increase in favor with God and favor with men. The number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor. Lack of favor. I have seen gifted people who don't have favor. I have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one, the chairman of their local government. The governor's friend is their father's friend. And they, have, they will show you the numbers of people. If I show you, look at, this is Saraki's number. This is Dogara's number. In fact, do you know that when I was staying in Lagos, there was a day that Osimba John came to our house. I know him, oh, and there's no favor. They watch everybody on TV. Ah, that's Ambassador ABC. You remember him in 1971? No favor. No favor. To be gifted is not enough you need favor you need men to partner with your life this ministry by the grace of god is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time of God that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes I don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when I share testimonies, most people, not you, but maybe most people will think it is um, 
it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if i share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know god is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters god is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me i only fund less than 20 percent of my life ex expenditure everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced i received the impartation of favor directly from dr mike modok i knew when it came upon my life you know why he's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of christ because of seed 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 and all of that i may not necessarily believe everything but i saw on common favor on common a favor like a charm and while others were grumbling i said lord this man is an apostle of wisdom he is the gift of god to the body he represents the spiritual system that controls wisdom and the bible says with me wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because I am a product I am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name Ebenezer that a man that God has helped God lifted your hands that's why when I worship God I I, I, I do it I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor there is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that I begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight we together I'm wetting your appetite and then I'm going to teach you quickly while I begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor I want you to believe it there is such an impartation upon a man for favor father please let your people believe you please please let your people believe you if you don't believe this you will pay for it i promise you there are times for months months i never go to the atm i even forget that i have an atm there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours 
I can give you my phone now and you can check from when I sat down till now. Alert upon alert. How they got my account number, I don't know. Brothers and sisters, there are properties that have been given to me today. I don't know where it is. I've not gone there to see it. Do you believe in favor? I shared with you last year about the gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing. Three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it. It is not by might. It is not by power. Are we together? There are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one. I have never, aside from another again, two really. One, a cousin to Reverend George Adeboe of Rema. He may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials favor there are bags full of gifts i have not opened since they came i don't even know what is there who told you favor does not work there are mysterious people who have sent alerts in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor? gentleman just came trusting God I think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now I see these things all the time and I thank God but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me I saw her with a big bag some of you were a big um, bucket a small bucket and I said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said 
she said man of god i was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchin and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchin and came yesterday it is still it is still i've not even opened it to see what is there chinchin favor favor day and night day and night day and night this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people that's why we cannot give because after sweating so much for 50,000 will you really be able to give it are we blessed Testimonies. there is no place and there is no day that I wake up I wake up every day may God forgive me if I'm lying there is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages with recharge cards and bank alert every day including today without fail this is how I live because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van you ask the boys that work for me a conga van bam, just stops Somebody has ordered something and paid for it, put my address, and they are offloading these things. And I'm saying, God, what is this? What are you doing to me? And God says, No, you can stop it. You can stop it if you want. I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life when you sit down? You really think your salary is what is going to bless you to be established? Who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, Please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why I don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on, on Tuesday, we are going to Kano tomorrow and on Tuesday we are going to Nigerian Immigration Services, their headquarters, where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation. I have been with them for how many years now? I think about four, four years. We go there every year. I talk to them, I counsel them. The top of the top leaders. You don't even enter their office, yet for them it's a privilege. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. That's favor. Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised fables. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was ten. I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. 
I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 Naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? Jesus. The first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor. The first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor. Write it down. Honor is the first key. Sowing the seed, not receiving a harvest of honor. You must sow the seed for honor. Because honor is the key for access. When you sow seeds of honor, you begin to activate favor. What is honor? The ability to recognize, the ability to celebrate, and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness. That's honor. Not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart. The ability to recognize. The ability to celebrate. And the ability to reward men for their honor. The seed of honor. I don't mean money. A seed called honor. You sow honor into a man's life. There are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor. No favor in their life. They don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man. Everybody is the same to them. All men are equal. And hey, please, I don't do all of this. No. Honor. Many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor. We transport you after koinonia. Do you know why? It's a seed of honor. We are programming honor upon the ministry. It's not just that we have a lot of money. When our elderly people come, we don't let them join the queue except they want to. They sit down. It's a seed of honor. When I hug our children here, it's a seed of honor. My life is a walking seed of honor. I have mastered sowing seeds of honor. The first key to command unending favor, honor. Honor through conversations. Honor through your body language. Honor through your, vest, your gestures. You see an elderly woman and I greet her. Mama, how are you? That's the seed of honor. Oh, she cannot speak English. No problem, Mama. Don't put yourself under pressure. You don't have to know English. Find an interpreter. Seeds of honor. Are we together now? Yes. I sow seeds of honor everywhere. Once you discern difference, you sow that seed of honor. That you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it. You must sow seeds of honor to parents. The entire hamper that was given to me while I was in Joss, they already know I carried it with the wine and everything and I took it home. As I got home, I just dropped it. When my mother heard I was coming to Josh, she said, what do I want? I said, I'm not sure. I'm, she should not do anything. My mother refused and said she must do something. She made chin chin and made chicken. That's my mother. But she has discerned that this is not only my son. This is a man of God. Seeds of honor. That's why honor keeps coming. Honor is not coming because she's my mother. She's walking these principles. Let me tell you, whoever walks it will receive it. Bad manners, being rude, dishonor. You are driving favor from your life you don't treat people well you treat everybody like a piece of rag there are men of god who favor stopped in their life when they rose because they have no regard for anybody they receive honor from others but they don't give honor so those lower than them let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men they keep receiving honor those lower than you keep honoring you but then you yourself don't give honor. So you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you. Then you start saying, you people are competing with me, Abi. There's no such thing. You refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising. They are sowing seeds of honor. If you keep sowing seeds to me in Koinonia, whether money or whether whatever, and I don't do the same thing, you need to see me when I stand before greatness. You will not know it's the same apostle Joshua Selman you're talking about. If it means me cleaning the shoes, I do it with Jesus' joy. Honor. 
is a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honored them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down two value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them is drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's this is coming or they, sh they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me, man of God, I just listened to your message, essentials for a glorious relationship. You just saved our marriage. Here is a little seed. Man of God, I just listened to your message, financial dominion. Man of God, I just listened to your message, why revivals die. Solving problems. The moment you solve problems, you show honor. And everywhere there is honor, I teach that there is favor. And everywhere there is favor, there are all kinds of rewards, including finances. So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems, Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Wood calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life is integrity. Integrity. Very, very important. What is integrity? It comes from the word integer. Sameness. Consistency. Let me tell you something. You're a man of God here. Listen to me. 
people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry they will prove your life don't think because you just started ministry people will bless you they will probe your life they will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them after a life a season of integrity and consistency then they conclude you know let me tell you something hold on many people think that the moment you are anointed you are charismatic people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty do you know why because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all this young people's thing and for 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 years most people thought i was on serious it's just all these young guys doing things on campus it's just these people trying to do something but eventually i never was angry with them because every great man must be probed saying people should not probe you is a joke they check your character with ladies they check your character with money they check your character with discipline they see how you manage challenges they see a lot of it is based on that they will say kai this man is worth my commitment we have seen that god brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him he did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat this is a consistent man this man will be my pastor there are many people roaming around calling everybody son calling everybody daughter what investment have you made in their life you must allow people probe you you start a business and they suspect whether your product there are people when i started out because of the dimension of the anointing in my life many people thought you know you know anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is and i used to hear people say it and i say leave them even me if i attended koinonia and i watched a man called joshua selman i would think he's holding a charm and then you watch there are many people some of you seated today years ago you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences some of you argued it but with time now you are some of the strongest people do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages there are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together yes once people see integrity and consistency then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say listen let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How come, Pastor Alpha? I've been watching him. The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. Up so that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. There are people to do it. They are the ones who are defending this ministry. Ah, no. I used to know this brother. There was a day he gave me 50 naira. He started his giving sins. Do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow 
I have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now. number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace 
for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor number two ease ease the mystery of ease people like bishop oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph ease where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage battles that stand before you while you are preparing to fight them you open the door and find dead bodies favor for your battles favor has fought my battles in life i have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name koinonia look at this we are in zaria in the north this whole road this is a major road but this whole road is blocked every friday every friday go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you everything works for our favor in this ministry everything regardless of what it is you try to fight this ministry you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen don't fight a man of favor and win it's a waste of time it's like boxing a war where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable literally untouchable because god will raise help left right and center left right and center left right and center many of our parents have no favor no doors opening for them nothing happening favor Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drank of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car by force i know if i ask you you won't agree i said what is this one honestly they even disturb it just washing the car with joy i said now if i drive this person favor favor it is real and it happens we have sown seeds of favor we meet the security people we honor them we bless them the, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers.
they come here some i'm sure many of them are outside here with the bosses and they are waiting 99 percent of them are not necessarily christians but they love koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening no complaint you know why because seeds of honor have been sown seeds of honor has been sown there are so many people we have scattered seeds of honor around look at cgc and the honor that they have shown this ministry i have never seen a ministry with men of god as humble and members that love jesus and truthfully like the members in this church cgc it is true it is true it is from my heart and it is true hallelujah some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this and i'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor i must sow seeds of honor every time people sow seeds of honor sow it back don't receive and wait you receive they have risen but you have remained where you are they will be calling you a superstar but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you somebody blesses you ah um pastor alpha bless you you reciprocate back that way both of you have risen We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Ibiu may the Lord ask him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Ibiu may travel to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call he carried something whenever you see consistency there is something listen if you choose to believe the truth he will change you they've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is there is uh, there is something you are not you know you need to go and connect to this you need to do that I believe in favor but favor is only when it comes from God to men, not from men. If you don't give 150,000 to so 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 person in federal ministry of this, you will never get a job. That's how we do it. You are not part of the we. And you find out, and the Bible says that when a man's ways pleases the Lord, that's the truth, that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Are we together? Listen, the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you. Yes. You can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities. Is the part you find. I have found from this word. Listen, and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm saying. But I have found from this word. That it is possible for a man to fulfill his days. I found it. I used to fear death. I think it's one of the things we all fear. Because the teaching I got about death was that any day it can meet you any time. And it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched. I said, God, but how can I live my entire life being afraid? I'm going to live a life traveling all the time. Right? I'm in the air, I'm on road. In the morning, in the afternoon, there are armed robbers, weather conditions. What is the guarantee that I'm going? I mean, I can't live my life. I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid. I want to go and heal the sick, cast out demons. But me, the man of God that God will use, you are now afraid whether you arrive safely. As soon as you arrive, your heart returns back and you are like, hey, thank you, Jesus. What is torturous way of living? But there is a truth. Ha! Ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth 
to build a world of fortification are you hearing what i'm saying i believe the word of god that's why we are gathered here tonight this is called a miracle service there is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed there is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out let me tell you without understanding the truth any action you take is arrogance you make a fool out of yourself what is the guarantee that in the next few minutes the lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people is the truth as at morning when they were fixing this place what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled what was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world is the truth there is an information you know the power of god that i believe you oh god and i'm ready to follow you will not lie to me i believe you you are not a man that you should lie not the son of man i don't doubt him i believe you my experiences notwithstanding i still believe you number three jesus the life hmm. a revelation of his power and his ability to make a life jesus the life John 11 verse 25 to 26. An event happened there. Lazarus was a man who had died three days. And then Jesus said he sleepeth. And they were going to go and resurrect him. And when they went, they saw his sisters crying. Now this was talking about physical death. But it applies to every area. Watch this. Death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but I'm 70 years now. How many more years do I have? When the resurrection comes, he can bring back to life. Are we together? I should have been a PhD holder now. But so, 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes. Listen to me. Jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive. This is good news. Are we together? So the Bible says, Rejoice not over me, my enemies. You know my fall, but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection. Rejoice not over me. Yes, I know for now I do not have a job. I lost my job. Yes, I know that this and that may have happened in my life. But there is Jesus the life. He can put life back. He can put life back. Let me show you something the Bible says. Very interesting. Well, let's finish it. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, although his kidney were dead, he can come alive. He that believeth on me, although his finances were dead, he can come alive. Do you know that hopelessness is, is one of the major causes of depression in our society? You know what hopelessness is? A perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again. And people just give up. Society is full of angry people who just walk around and say, look, there's no hope. No hope for this child. No hope for this. No hope for me again. No, I'm already past menopause. No child. Let me just agree that I will never have a child in my life. 
listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us seven to nine job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way i know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive when do we just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can not walk so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving god I, I i know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake i know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing i hear the joy coming hey I hear the breakthrough coming. I hear the sound coming. Sound of abundance and joy. I see the lifting coming. Yeah. Hold on. Listen. I tell you, the, the, the anointing of God is strong upon me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Give us that scripture again. Give us that scripture because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight he says for there is hope everybody say there is hope let the devil hear you let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say will she ever rise with this carryover with 11 carryovers will you ever rise the Bible says there is hope for a tree there is hope for a tree It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease we're reading to verse 9 though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stock thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet hold on it didn't say through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy 
we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die ah look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god well will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotapriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men because they don't know god this god we serve are we together i always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about saul god was seeing paul ah. apostle but i don't even know who my father is i'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background i came from don't worry the god of israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of god with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when god was going he had to climb the tree and god said come down zacchaeus is your house i'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once zacchaeus said i will repay everybody and zacchaeus completely changed hear me i came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of jesus called jesus the life the life the life jesus the life jesus the life jesus the life, jesus the life. That everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the God that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter Jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about god here apostle but this is 10 years no child 
and they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplex second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day god gets angry and vows by his name i have seen this truly speaking that god vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when god vows a vow to lift a man i tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that god can say the appointed time is come i've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles god just vowed with his name tonight i want your faith to be please look listen you have come before god this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open i want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but i perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life to draw from you again hey, hey. to drink from you again hey, hey, hey. to drink from you again hey, hey. we've come to the road the same tonight i insist lift your voice and pray lord i can't go back the way i came i place a demand a demand on your anointing a demand on your anointing Pa pa se 
every ministry. Prayer point number two Change my level, oh God Change the dimensions Take me to another level attention praise the Lord hallelujah there's a lot to do tonight we're going to do it in this order I'm going to take the altar call now and then tonight we're going to start with the sick I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing hallelujah now quickly let me have your attention my God the power of God is so strong so strong I already see activities of angels you are in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two, are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three, celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run. No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Turning back, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. 
I'm seeing three people in overflow. Three. There. And the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people. Overflow. Three. Please, quickly. There's so much to do. There are three people I'm seeing in overflow. Three outside. And the Lord is telling me they should be there. Don't allow your friends stop you. I'm still going to give one more minute. One more minute. As the Holy Spirit is convicting you, you're saying, I want to come, but I'm a bit shy. Run, make your way quickly. Come and join us. Come and join us. Hallelujah. Look at me. Please let them come and join. Those of you in front, please look at me. I salute you. This is serious business here. Please, there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you see, when most people give their lives to Christ, they come in emotionally, and some are not even serious. They come laughing, pinching themselves, Lord Jesus, and they are laughing and not serious. This Jesus business is life. We are not talking about a certificate. We are not talking about a husband or wife. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Please hear me. As you are here, make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it please don't don't play games with god this is the god of heaven i want you to say this from the depth of your heart all of you in front here and those joining quickly if you are joining them make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin I believe that you resurrected for me this night I have heard your word and I declare that I need you in my life I hand over my life to you from now and forever I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I am a child of God Satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of Jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiving I declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life I set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise God now I will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service I want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um i'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head 
I set you free. This is Koinonia, the place of encounter. I decree and declare that from today, you are set free. And there's something I'm seeing in your stomach. I decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to pray. Uh, there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight. Um, any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please i will pray for people overflow one i want you to match to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um a crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for Please, I want you to move to your projector stands, overflow two, um, overflow three. Those online connect by faith and um, we are going to be praying for you. Those inside, make your way very quickly. The special cases that I ask, make your way quickly, quickly, please. We have to be very fast. There's a lot to do. The reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because God has anointed us for this reason. Hallelujah. God has anointed us. It's a privilege to carry his anointing and we must take our time to release blessings to God's people. Make your way quickly. Look how many people need the touch of God. What a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people. Can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the Lord to touch and heal and bless everyone. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Pray. It's a miracle service. Please, those that are coming in from outside, make sure it's only blood-related diseases. Terminal diseases. Terminal diseases. Otherwise, you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you. Father, you have anointed you have anointed us in this place you have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles lord you have produced untold testimonies is a privilege to be extensions of your hand again ministering to the needs of your people it is your desire that in every territory there must be a place where men and women can find the power of god at work and lord thank you for making this such a place Tonight we pray that there will be abundance, abundance of your anointing in the name of Jesus. Tonight is serious business. I really perceive that there is need to minister to people. We are going to have um, some of our leaders stationed in various places. Please, I want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister. I'm going to just make contact with them. Um, there will at least be two, two at different, different points and then we are going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, Mike leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray 
please those outside if if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge is all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this lord we agree right now in jesus name my god there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people lord i decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of jesus christ let the anointing of the holy spirit come upon you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let the fire of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the holy spirit um shade and promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road shade and promise benga and um femi this overflow and then mike and pastor alpha will be at the overflow overflow three now um Ejimi will be with me here pastor alpha um huh? okay two of you are there okay fine who is left michael okay then join them outside this overflow here and then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here praise the lord lord we decree and declare let there be miracles right now let there be signs let there be wonders in the name of jesus let there be such a strong move of the spirit let the sick be healed while this is happening please um i want you if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests let's do that very quickly we're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available hallelujah lord we give you all the praise in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so we'll pray for you now i want you to trust god for miracles trust god for miracles insist that god must give you a miracle hallelujah praise the lord as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit gentle touch is flowing jesus in the name of jesus christ i believe There is healing in your name as we worship, as we worship in your presence. There is healing, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle time is flowing. It's
Jesus. There is healing in your name. And as we worship, as we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit. I want you to believe that there is no power holding on to your destiny that will go back with you. Please believe this night. There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way. Because she was nothing at all. She was employed, but oppression after oppression. There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um... I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me, right now from here, I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked. I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person, wherever you are, in this congregation i decree and declare right now that the power of god touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone at the minister's stand the minister's son i'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body lord in the name of jesus whoever that person is it must go now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every strange devil, every strange spirit, we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive, completely not conducive in the name of Jesus. I want you to look at this. Look at look at what look at what the devil can do. This is a human being's face. Mama, come. Madam, is this our mother? How long has this been? This is one year now. A year one plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her eyes. Her eyes I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going You see it from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And get me. Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground on ground like enchantment i say it again whoever is responsible for terminating attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow her now god bless you see let me tell you something brothers and sisters wickedness is very very real very real very very real very very real i want you to lift your voice in one minute and say father judgment tonight pray lift your voice everything that must give way 
for the next level of my destiny to be open I command it so now by the power of the Holy Ghost pray inside pray outside pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost pray Shaka toko 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 kesh Rekete kete kata bada 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 bas Mata kato shepre kete Lente pre keta basha barada 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 bas Le keta pros kata baranda kapras kata barato Are you praying? Make sure you are praying Let her go now I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear I see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it really going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we're going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of the flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it out. Brakatoso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto preketeli abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. 
from road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, outside, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, online. I curse that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, from road to road, the power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to give way. Paroto sose se siatata. Rakatos kabaria dabala koto shubia. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare, anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now, on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Shabaratos Kotosh. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now. Visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside. I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams appearing as men appearing as women appearing as animals at the count of three as you shout Jesus Jesus the life is destroying any death are you ready one two three I command those devils those strangers Strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you, I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Say, every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service. And the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. I'm seeing padlocks. That's what I'm seeing. This is representing men's destinies. Nothing is happening in your life. 
you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destiny is open right now oh god i declare that every padlock over any man's destiny over any man's life at the count of three they are open one two three Destiny, open up, destiny. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now, I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire. 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 Fire upon every family fire fire the spirit of death broken hallelujah Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen. Except it is not the spirit of God. But any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing. But as I pass your road, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire and like a wildfire it will pass you and begin to consume things some of you as i pass that physical fire that heat lord let it be right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ take it here that fire fire judging everything judging every evil from every row, row to row, row to row, row to row, that fire right now, every witchcraft, every power, every witchcraft, every power, tying anyone, someone's womb is being loose now, someone's womb is being loose, someone's womb is being loose, in the name of Jesus Christ, can I go out, is it, is it possible, those outside lift your voice and pray, lift your voice and pray, Hallelujah. Please, quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain. 
a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it in the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me, just be there's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, 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 now is breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right, right, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Help them, help them. Please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere.
recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but i'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues never again in the name of jesus never again by the power of the holy ghost please i know it's raining but participate god is touching people i'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back i decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah toy toy what's your name my son name is Tony. Tony. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression. All of you are Tony. What's your name? My auntie. Who? My auntie's name is Tony. I will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands i will pray for you i will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family hold my hands with both of your hands your family must be free from witchcraft lord jesus ah fire fire on every altar fire on every altar of witchcraft i command I use as a point of contact and pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage I command your emancipation now I command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness Are you toying? Huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the same way God is touching her may God touch you too in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear you are doing my auntie where is she what is this for this is my family my mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a hold the photo you believe that when i pray for you god will touch them lord visit this family right now in the name of jesus i release the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus through you let it touch your family please don't come out carelessly don't come out why why is she out why are you out my dear huh my sister is doing okay i will lay my hands on you be free of your mother your mother something is leaving your mother in the name of Jesus 
I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Kai, what is this? Look at, I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please, just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. Rakoto soto koto baka rato kotia. Shakata kata kata bata. Rakato soto prekete kata. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Memuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Memuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Memuna. I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air, forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin, we were here last week. 
But he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them whatever their issues are. I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket, sometimes from your bag. I'm not talking of stealing. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just come out carelessly. Physic money, you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less. It has disappeared. Who is that? I need to pray for you. It's a very serious issue. Yeah, na 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 na. You? Hallelujah. Kai, the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat, it was looking at you. You were wave your hands. Let me know you are the one I'm talking to. Come out, come and stand here. I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms, that's not what I'm this. This is a special, unique, demonic case. Come. Kai. This lady, I have to pray for you. Favor, zero. Breakthrough, zero. Trouble, 100%. Father, in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatosko prakato, zakatolia katapakanda prakisia. Lekos kapranda gada suze breke tekatos. In the name of Jesus, zekata tata suzia. Mante bros katapranda katolia kata. Shakas kende kos. Akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata. Reketo sekete kete kete bakata. Mamprato soto bere kete riakata. Shasese kata. Mamproto soto topaka. Embriata sada siata. Shakel kata maskada bariakato. Embre kete 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 kete. Rekos kososo pekete de kata. Mebriata sise kotosho pariakata. Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place. You hallucinate. This lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel? She can live, not vision, live physically. This lady, I command that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus and whatever she sees about you except you are powerful it must happen it's a spirit she doesn't even know why in the name of Jesus I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat I curse you by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ please don't be tired I know our time is gone but it's raining let, let, let's just visit these things because come you are a beautiful girl but no favor in your life shift let me talk to this this yellow girl come run god wants to wipe your tears ah i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something like a crown on your head come you must be delivered thoroughly father in the name of jesus christ let this cause of this favor this is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato soto bakata. Randa koto soto kete barakata. I decree and declare every legal access of darkness 
I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I open the doors. I open the doors from the realm of the spirit. Let there be favor over your life. In Jesus' name, hold on, sir. I need to pray for you. This encounters, supposed encounters, has retrogressed your life. I hear what I'm saying. I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now. You too. You see your grandmother. Where are you from? Calabar? No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I, if I didn't call, why are you here? Are you, do you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you. This is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Special strange wicked and demonic issues someone has fallen down there please let the doctors attend to the person make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves hallelujah praise the lord hi you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in jesus name say it seriously in jesus name every affiliation with the dead i curse it now i release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in jesus name do you love jesus you love jesus huh mm -mm. you are not serious with jesus hold my hands how are you don't be embarrassed but um the first thing you need is your relationship i'm looking at you i can't i don't want to embarrass you but you need jesus seriously i love you eh that's why i'm helping you I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. It's, your own is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to. In, your destiny is needed. Please go and see. He will talk to you. Now, all of you who are having these issues, I'm going to lay my hands on you now. When I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. There is this strange Kai. I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you feel yourself, you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed. There's somebody with that case, that situation right now. I have to pray for that person right now. I have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, your sir. life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying it money works. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it was find a way of going yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. I go now and cost that spirit. Amazing God. 
over your life now we're going to be very fast five minutes and we're out of this place please i want you to believe every prayer that is coming now every prayer come every prayer the lord is taking you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ a new dimension a new level cameraman god is wiping your tears Keep the camera first, wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly. The Lord is asking me to release family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus anyone here who has lost anything in your life i declare i'm seeing 28 in 28 days 28 days from now i command that it comes back to your hands i command that it comes back to your hand i command that it comes back to your hand anyone here who has been victimized by life by circumstances by men i decree and declare May the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction. You are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction.
strange encounters that bring you direction the yoke of poverty and hardship and lack I command it to live your life now I command it to live your life now live your family now live your destiny now I pray for every family represented here whatever you are trusting God for as a family I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now I decree and declare from tonight not tomorrow from tonight let it start working in your life strange favor in your life strange favor in your life God has placed his honor upon this ministry. I pray for you from today, anywhere you go. Whether they know you or not, I command them to honor you. Believe it, I command honor upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points and we are done. Whatever has made your pace of your life slow. Some of you are moving forward, but you are too slow for your destiny. At the rate you are going, you will not do much in your lifetime. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed do in one month what you have not done in five years in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life your prayer life your fasting life word life passion for God passion for the house of God right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar prayer fire on your altar word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain